Hey everyone, Walsh here from Thinline Defense. Today I'm bringing you a review of the cattail antennas. But before we do that, as always, I want to thank all of our Patreon supporters. This channel isn't monetized and you're what makes these reviews possible. I also want to thank everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes to all of our content. You make this fun for me and as I always say, I love interacting with you. So what is a cattail antenna? So the cattail antenna is a flexible antenna that can be woven into your plate carrier instead of being attached to the actual radio. So you're not flicking yourself in the face or getting smacked by your radio antenna whenever you're putting it on or taking it off. And it also gives you a secure location to place the radio antenna when you're moving about so you're not getting constantly jammed by it when you're moving around. So let's take a look at what exactly comes in the package and how to set it all up. So here's the actual package that we received from William over at Cattail Antennas. And you see here, I think we also got a little sticker here. So a <laughs> cool little in the pipe 5x5 five five sticker. So that's pretty neat. We'll stick that somewhere cool. So the actual antenna, antenna itself, you can see here, um, it's pretty well made. Um, I really like the way it's done. We ordered ours in the OCP camo, but you can see on the website you can order it in multiple different colors. The other colors include tan, black, forest, and camo green. The end of the antenna actually includes a SMA female connector that can be used to adapt into the Beofang. Now there's multiple other radios that can use this, so I'm going to show you how you can use it across different radio sets. We can set this to the side for now though. So let's grab that Beofang and adjust the antenna. So you can see here, this antenna is kind of wobbly and gets in the way of everything. So it's useful to remove this and use a different type of antenna. So we can just put the adapter on here. Just tighten it down, finger tight. It's got good knurling in order to tighten it down. And we can also take the antenna off of our Alenco DMR and do the same thing. Where now we install another one of the SMA adapters. So now that you have both radios, you can see how easy it is to connect the actual cattail antenna into each radio. Just turn and click. And the same if you want to install it into the Beofang with the same type of adapter. All you have to do is turn and click the cattail in order to install it. Simple and easy. So now that we have the radios all set, let's take a look at the antenna itself. So first, let's unwind it here from the little Velcro strapping that it comes with. And you can see that you can unfold it all and you can now weave it into and out of your actual plate carrier. So I started here and I wove it through the support side of my plate carrier and then, and then I wove it through the back underneath the hydration carrier. So one big note here, make sure if you have water in this carrier um, that you have it above that as the water is going to impede the signal. So I wove it a little bit higher on the actual plate carrier in case I'm carrying water. And then I ran it down the other shoulder and into the front side as you can see here. So you can also route the radio antenna on the side of the plate carrier. So you could route it down the shoulder and then weave it in and out of the actual cummerbund um, in case you aren't getting a good signal routing it through the back also. So you can see here in order to install it then you just take our radio that we have the adapter on and then we just grab the actual antenna and we can just click it in and turn it just to install it, put our cap on and then tighten everything down and then the radio is good to go. And let's say we wanted to change to a different radio, we just disconnect it, grab our other radio like our Linko DMR now we can just use the same antenna, connect that right up, and then slide it into place and lock it down. And we've just swapped radios and not have to worry about all the antenna mess from different radios. So I'm sure you're thinking the same as me. Antennas have their shape for a reason. So is there any sort of transmission or receive signal loss when using this type of antenna? So tell you what, let's find out. So for this test, I want to test and see the signal strength. So we're going to go out to some different distances and see how they compare from the Nagoya to the cattail antenna. So first, I went out to a half mile, and this was the signal. W3BJW, radio test, 70 centimeter simplex Nagoya antenna. W3BJW, radio test, 70 centimeter simplex, one half mile cattail antenna. Then I went out to three-quarter mile, and this was the signal from each. W3BJW, radio test, three-quarter mile, 70 centimeter simplex, Nagoya antenna. W3BJW, radio test, 70 centimeter simplex, cattail antenna. And then we went out to a mile. BJW, radio test, one mile, Nagoya, W3BJW, 
At about a mile, I realized I was getting some signal direction issue, like the signal power was coming through just fine, but the signal was kind of going in and out, which means I probably wasn't aiming the signal properly from the actual antenna. And I think that's part of the actual issue with the cattail, is it's not that it's losing any power, but you're actually changing the direction that the signal is being sent depending on how you actually align it and wrap it. So I think there's some testing involved in how to get the best signal propagation and how to lay it out on your gear. Uh, so I need to play with that a little bit more. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I did have a little bit of signal loss on transmitting, but I have a lot more ease and ease of use. So it's a good trade-off. So for our signal receive test, I set up a simple test where I found a really crappy area in my basement where it could barely receive certain weather channels. And then I tapped into those weather channels using both the Nagoya, shown here, highs in the lower 80s, lows in the upper 50s. And then I used the cattail antenna one here. Highs in the lower 80s, lows in the upper. I had a really bad issue with the cattail antenna. I really couldn't get it to connect to anything, which I thought was kind of surprising. And then I put on the plate carrier. Chance of showers near 100%. Thursday, cloudy. And then I had no issues with signal strength. So it's always interesting to test these things out because suddenly where it didn't really have very good receive strength, now it's receiving just as good as my Alinko DMR. So really cool, really cool way to test it. So pros and cons. Um, pros, I love how easy it is to put on with your plate carrier. No longer am I fumbling with the antenna and all the extra pieces to try and get everything put on correctly and set up correctly. I love how I can switch between different radios. If I want to run a junk Baofang, I can just do that or I can actually run a nice DMR if I need digital radio. Whatever I need, I can easily switch it out and now I can move everything to the front or onto my first line gear. However, I want to run it and just easily disconnect and reconnect those pieces. Um, cons, there's a little bit of receive loss, there's a little bit of transmit loss, there's a little bit of quality loss. Now that comes with the, the cost of a little bit of creature comfort, right? So I would rather have that ease and accessibility than that little bit of max distance I lose out on on 70 centimeters. So it's not really that big of a deal to me. Um, I think it would behoove me to test some different ways to run it through the plate carrier for transmission. Receive it seems fine, but for transmit, I probably could get some better effects based on how I ran it. But it's either way, it's going to be directionally based. Like if you have the antenna basically ran to one side, you're going to be, people on this side are going to be able to hear your signal strength stronger than people on, on the opposite side. It's all based on how you run it. Your traction may vary on how you set yours up and kind of what results you get. So. Um, overall, super awesome product. I think it's great. Um, I think it makes life a lot easier, particularly if you're using a radio and a plate carrier. If you're not using a radio on your plate carrier, get a radio. Get an Alinko DMR, because if you're not running digital radio, it's not that much more expensive, trust me. And it's so much better. But I hope this review was helpful. I hope you can see a different way to set up your plate carrier, some different radios you can run, and some different reasons to run it that way, and maybe some pros and cons to running this kind of setup. As always, thanks to our Patreon supporters. Thanks for watching our videos, and please consider subscribing for more content. All right, I'm out.